Hello, coming to you from Lahore, this is Indus News. I'm Mukhar Rizvi. These are the top stories. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that bilateral talks are the only way forward for Pakistan and India. In an interview with TRT World, Khan said that war between the two nuclear-armed neighbours would be suicidal. Khan said that surging Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir have fueled the indigenous freedom movement there. He said that Pakistan will do its best to help Afghanistan undergo a peaceful transition and to reach a political settlement. Moving on ahead of general elections in four months' time, India's ruling BJP has lost a coalition partner in northeastern Assam state. The Assam Ghana Parishad party quit after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet approved a bill to give citizenship to non-Muslims from neighboring countries. Two parties in northern Uttar Pradesh state have warned that they could also part ways with the BJP. Meanwhile, Turkey's President Tayyip Erdogan has said that the U.S. withdrawal from Syria must be planned carefully and performed with the right partners. Writing in the New York Times, Erdogan said that Turkey is the only country with the power and commitment to assist with the U.S. pullout. He said that Turkey is committed to defeating ISIS and other terrorist groups in Syria. The U.S. has said it will withdraw from Syria if it receives Turkey's guarantee to protect Kurdish militia fighting ISIS. Next, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has arrived in China for talks with President Xi Jinping. Kim's arrival in Beijing comes amid plans for another summit with U.S. President Donald Trump on ending North Korea's nuclear program. And after weeks of violent yellow vest protests, France has announced plans to ban participation in unauthorized demonstrations. Prime Minister Edouard Felipe said that a new law will also ban known agitators from participating in protests. He said that violent protesters would be made to pay for the damage that they cause. To Sudan, where the government has detained over 800 people in three weeks of protests against President Omar al-Bashir, addressing Parliament, Interior Minister Ahmed Bilal Uthman said 17 protesters were killed during nearly 400 demonstrations. He said that two security officials were also killed and about 130 others were injured.